Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on this first episode of this Morrowind Let's Play. It's been a very long time since I played this game. I played it quite a bit on my original Xbox when I was growing up uh, and had a blast. And I noticed that there's a bit of a Morrowind renaissance it seems happening on YouTube so I thought it'd be time to jump back into it. I've been watching a lot of great content. Um, Big shout out to the Lefebvre Bros and Emmett's uh, playthrough of Morwin with Young Man. Of course, uh, New Rising Star, Mickey D, fantastic Morwin memes and challenge videos. I recently watched uh, an old Let's Play from uh, Lilia TV uh, with Lawrence the Cheese Thief. So you know, if you guys haven't checked them out, uh, definitely go go watch. You'll enjoy, I'm sure. So uh, let's uh, let's jump right in here. I start a new game. and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. Oh, Geogo. You were dreaming. What's your name? Okay, so I have uh, thought about what sort of character I want to play here. Um, I'm going to be playing sort of a, a battle magey type character, so I figure I'm going to go with a Brenton. Uh, so we're going to need some name that's sort of uh, lore friendly. Um, I know Brentons are based off of sort of French culture, so we're going to need uh, something that's going to work for that. So I'm thinking... The French. What better name to uh, inspire on? Strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. Who's a good boy? You look kind of French with your little mustache there. I'm gonna call you Steve French. That's a good name for you. He's a good boy, Steve French. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. I hope so. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. I remember when we were young, we used to always laugh at that line, which goes to show you just about how mature we were at the time. But, all right, let's... Goodbye, sir. Let's head on out. At the hatch. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Isn't it wonderful? Back in Sedanine. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be playing a Brenton. I mean... They're all kind of the, the same here, I think. Seems alright. And yeah, I mean, we're gonna need a glorious main for Steve French. Should be all right. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Okay, and we go. Yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. When I was younger, we used to always do the, uh, the Generates class answers as questions, but uh, when I was testing out to make sure the game worked here, I realized it's, it's pretty long, and I'm going to end up doing a custom class anyway, so I'm not going to put you guys through that. So... So we're going to be playing sort of a battle magey type. Um, 
mostly focused on combat with some some magic for support. I do want block. And I want to take heavy armor. Uh, of course, we're going to put our magic skills in the major skills for uh, starting spells. So I'm going to take alteration because that's going to give me um, my ability to open locks and not need security. Uh, it's going to give us our levitate. You know, I remember there's a jump spell too, which, uh, which is pretty fun. So I want to mess around with that a bit too. Um, I'm going to take... I'm gonna take Conjuration because I'm gonna need a skill to level my intelligence to get more Magicka. Uh, and of course, Restoration. I think these are gonna be our three magic skills that we're gonna focus on. Um, sort of give us some extra support and combat and utility and ability to heal ourselves. Um, for minor skills, I know I want Armorer. And... Long blade is going to be our our weapon skill. Uh, do, 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 do. We need athletics to level up speed, and I have no ranged ability, so I'm going to take marksman, which is also going to uh, level up our agility as well as block, uh, because we're going to need to get that leveled up pretty quick, because uh, we're going to have a hard time hitting stuff without it. And the last one. I bounce back and forth between illusion and speechcraft because, um, because illusion has the um, the charm spell. But I think I'm just gonna go with speechcraft because I don't really wanna. I don't really feel like messing around with any more magic. I'm not really interested in sneaking, so you know I'm sh I know paralyze and stuff is all under illusion, but we're we're gonna go with speechcraft anyway because I like it. Um, Specialization is gonna be combat. Favorite attributes. I'm gonna take. Speech Speed, because I want that initial boost just because the walking speed is so slow in Morrowind and I'm gonna take luck because it's gonna be a long time before I ever level up luck because of course you're only ever gonna get that one point to it on each level up there's no modifiers so adventurer is fine that's what we're gonna be uh, so block heavy armor alteration conjuration restoration armor long blade athletics marks and speechcraft yeah, it seems fine. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? So for sign, I mean, I know there's a lot of good ones, but I, I feel like I almost always take the lady. Uh, just because 25 points of personality, 25 points to endurance. It's just so good. Uh, I mean, that endurance, I believe, is going to give us more starting health. Um, I mean, I could take... You know, things like the mage that give you the, uh, the extra magicka. Um, we're already getting a 50% modifier from being a, a Breton, uh, as well as the magicka resist, which is great. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to take the lady. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Thirty-five health. It's not very much. Thought we'd have more with the uh, with the endurance boost, but maybe not. Seventy-five magicka. Okay. I mean, as you can see, our skills are not exactly very high. With an agility of thirty and a long bit of twenty, we're gonna have a hard time hitting stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna level it up fairly quickly. I hope. Uh, block and heavy armor 35 our magic skills are okay but hey, let's just see how it goes show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee all right take our papers steve french the breton adventurer okay now uh, as many as you know of course there is the limeware platter over here that some easy gold in the beginning and of course if you're a fan of mickey d you know he always takes the limeware platter so i'm gonna you know uh, i'm going to pay tribute to that and and let's take that cowardly thief. cowardly thief of course we just drop that back down it'll give us a little slap on the wrist and say you know hey everybody gets one Continue through to the next building oh and we talk took to it anyway obvious. sorry guys but uh you know we need it more than you do we got big things to do. 
Alright, so we're going to pick up the old dagger here. Uh, take the lock pick. Seems to be worth a little bit. We'll take the flynn. Candlestick we'll take. We'll take that plate. We'll take the crab meat. We'll take all their silverware. Just because we need uh, we need the gold to get started here. I'll lock this chest. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hey. 31 gold. Alright, yes please. Take the silver. Silver. We'll take the firmament too. Let's... No. I don't know if there's anything good down here. No, we'll take this torch though. Is that a soul gem? Eddie soul gem. Regular goblet. The ingredients in these sacks. Yeah. Don't need them. Probably not going to mess around with alchemy too much. Uh, I know you can get some really, really good effects. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Of course, we'll take a Fargoth's ring there. And we'll head in to talk to Salus Gravius. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Salus Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here or why you were released from the prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you're a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cosades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Cosades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. Okay. Can you tell me about Caius? Report to Caius Cassades in Balmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you were, you were to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for him. Someone there can direct you to him. Okay. Great. All right. And so begins the main quest. Now, of course, I know that the, uh, the warehouse key is right over there. But I, I really don't think I'll be able to sneak around and get it. Yeah, I mean, you're looking right at me. If I come over this way, real sneaky. I'm stuck on a bench. Sneaky like. Don't mind me. Steve French. I don't think so. How could he know we're right behind him? Hmm. Yeah, yeah okay. I think he sees us. Well, that's fine. We don't need your warehouse key. Alright, we got your journal. Should probably check out our real trade house up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. Alright. Here it is. Morrowind proper. That's unusual. What's unusual? Are you the one that the boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at such at that time of day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. My old ring. Oh, I very much like to hold it again. Imagine that. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring, family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Well, yes, of course. Here's your ring. Ah! You found it. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You are now my favorite friend. Oh, thanks, Fargoth. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Aril, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Great. So we'll get some better prices to there. what do I owe the honor, Breton? Uh, uh, because it's going to be very important. Because uh, we're going to need some gear. So first, I do know a few things around Sadenine that I can go, uh, go grab and uh, make a little money. We're going to go get the axe and the tree stump here. Not gonna use it, but I am gonna sell it. Iron shard axe. 
Oh, stuck. Okay, there we go. It's gonna help us out a bit. Uh, we're probably gonna go find the tax collector and kill that guy uh, for the 500 gold. I don't know that I'll steal Fargoth's money because, I mean, he's my one friend in town here. Yes. And the guards are apparently already shaking him down, so I don't think he needs any more bad luck. And I mean, it should give us enough money to really get going here anyway. Um, maybe I'll just run in and do it now. Uh, I might get attacked by mud crabs. Let's chance it. Find an egger just in case. I think he's just up here. This is probably silly. Probably should have went and grabbed some armor and at least a sword or something, but uh, it should be easy enough. We can lure the critters back to town if they start... Oh yeah, there he is. They start giving us trouble. The guards will take care of them. Oh yeah, there's a Kwama Forager there. We can just avoid him. Oh, maybe not. Oh, jeez. Okay. Getting real shaky there. Up, 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 up. Up and around. Look at that. Oh, he's right on the body. Doesn't matter. Whoa. Ah, okay. Uh, you know what? We're going to take your clothes too, buddy, because... Sorry, but... You're not going to be using them. Run, 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 run. Get away from him there. Oh, mud crab. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do, 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 do. Alright, so I think we just need to head back to the census office. Look out. Still chasing me? Oh, that music's still playing. I don't see anybody, though. There we go. Alright, let's head right in here. We just want to get these few things done to get ourselves some gold to get set up before we head out proper. Oh, got a little bit of a cold there, sir. Uh, murder of Prosius Vitellius. Murdered? What a waste. Prosius was a good man. I had been wondering why we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, these are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he had collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Yes, I found 200 septums on his body. You did? How odd that he was murdered, but not robbed. Your honesty is appreciated, I can tell you that. Don't forget this, Steve French. In fact, oh, I won't forget this, Steve French. In fact, if you're looking for some money yourself, I'd like to see the murder of Prosius punished. Killing an emperor's tax collector is punishable by death. Find, this, find his murderer, bring him to justice, and the census and excise office will pay you 500 septums. So there we go. We turn that 200 into 500 just by killing a man. Oh boy, here I go killing again. I'll head back out here. Argos, you know anything about this murder? Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Only one who could stomach him at all was Thavir. Thavre? Thavre. Over in the lighthouse. The two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice woman. All right, so we'll... What do I owe the honor, Breton? We'll head over to the lighthouse here and talk to her. Let's see what's going on in here. Good day. Well, hello, Steve French. I'm Fabri... Fabri? Vendrano. Medrano. This is Sedanine, swamp fever capital of the world. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you where the services are. There aren't, there aren't many, and I can tell you the latest rumors. Unless you've already heard them, what are the latest rumors? Oh, I heard there's some trouble at Fort Frostmouth. Never heard of it. It's an island on Solstheim, north of Vardenfell. Well, we won't be heading to Solstheim anytime soon. 
happened this murder? Proseus murdered? No. Tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I'd ever met. He and I have become so close in the past few months. I don't know what I'll do without him. I've only seen him get angry once or twice and never raised a hand to anyone. This is so sad. Well, not even angry, I suppose. I saw him arguing with Foreign Gilneth about his taxes. He thought Proseus had been levying too much and skimming off the top himself. Ridiculous. Proseus would never have done such a thing, I'm sure of it. Please find what would happen, friend, and if you find what became of Proseus's ring, it would ease my heart. I gave him the ring many months ago, and it was dear to him. I would like it to remember him by. Alright, we'll take a look. I believe if we check these tax records we'll see uh yeah we'll see he's got 225 drakes unpaid which is pretty expensive i mean our real 450 drakes I and mean, he runs the trade house so he's probably got the highest taxes i guess but fargoth hasn't paid his taxes yet and i guess he won't now now I know we gotta go kill this guy, but uh, I have no gear, so I guess we'll head to Aril's trade house. Uh, I'm listening. And take a look. You Excuse me, sir. Done. Excuse me. You know what? Let's put on the tax man's clothes. I know they're all common, 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 but seems a little fancier. Look a little more. We didn't just get off a prison boat. Hello. See, so he uh, he likes me quite a bit. Thanks to our good buddy Fargoth. Welcome to a real trade house. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit? You want a little advice? Uh, that's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or popular scrolls? No, I would like to sell you some things though. Have my old shirt, shoes, pants, shard axe, silver candlestick. You want some crab meat, buddy? Flynn? Limewater platter, the soul gem, the firmament, our stolen silverware. 552 gold. Alright. We are gonna need a weapon. So long blades, we got broadsword. 4 to 12. Claymore's two handed, I definitely want a shield. Long sword, 4 to 16, 1 to 18. 6, 5 to 18 for the saber. Short sword. Silver short sword. Take that saber. Um, we're gonna buy whatever heavy armor you got here. Not a lot. I'm gonna buy your iron helmet. Shield. Does that steel? Greaves. Gauntlets. They're 28. Ones are 14, 11, 17. Uh, I mean, we can probably afford them. Right? Steel Greaves. Iron Greaves are 44, Armor Ending 11, 17, 88. We still have a fair amount of money, though. You know what? Why skimp on our protection? Buy those. I think we have everything but boots and pauldrons, which you don't appear to have anyway. Huh. We don't have a bow yet. Short bow. Not very good. We'll wait and see if we can get by without it. Let's try to get you up a bit here. Alright. There we go. So, I forgot to sell my dagger. I'll sell it later. So now we're a little more prepared. I think his house is right down here. And no fatigue, though. There we go. Alright, sir. You know what? I should, uh... I'll key some of these items. Saber. We're gonna put a bow there when we have one. Um... 
I want shield spell. Our summon ghost. And our heal. We're gonna What is this regarding Breton? Buff up here before we attack him. Get out of the way, ghost. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? I don't know, did you murder this guy? That Fetra, you damn right I did him in, and it was a good thing too. Well, that was easy. He was skimming a load of money from all of us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. Okay, well... Uh, I believe what you say. I'll say nothing to the authorities. Sorry, there's no excuse for the murder. Your punishment has been decided. Well, I'm sorry. I need the money. You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? Well, give it your best shot, Breton. I have no problem spilling more of the blood of the Emperor's lackeys. I'm not going to turn against the Emperor. I just got out of prison, man. So, sorry, dude. Die. Time to die. Ghost, I don't think those fire spells are going to do anything for you here. He is a dark elf. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, having trouble hitting people. Star Block seems to be doing well. You will die. Here we go. Come on. <clears throat> right on. All right, big fat six gold. Get the ring. It's fine. What else we got in here? Ah, mercantile. We'll take that. And it doesn't seem like he has much. I don't know how he's gonna afford to pay the taxes anyway. But we'll take what gold you do have. All right. Uh, there is. One more thing I wanted to. Well, you know, we're right here, so we'll head back to the census office. I am gonna go grab the mentor's ring, because I know that that's very close to Satanine, and that's gonna give us a nice boost to our willpower and intelligence, which is gonna help us a lot, especially these early levels for more magicka. And as you can see, two spells, and we're halfway down our, our magicka bar there. So. Turn this quest in. Ah, the murder. Heard you've been asking around about his murder. I'm glad to see this matter brought to its completion. Here's your reward, Steve French. Good to see there are still some citizens who understand their loyalty to our emperor. 500 gold. Thank you, sir. Good day, gentlemen. Uh, oh, we'll go turn that ring in to the lady in the lighthouse as well. Then we'll, we'll grab that ring, I think. We could try to take on the smugglers in the cave. But that mage in there is going to be a big problem for us. He is going to wreck us with that destruction magic of his. Uh, the ring. Oh, you found the ring I gave him. Thank you so much, Steve French. It's good to have something to remember him by, though. I'll never see him again. Here, take this. He usually traveled with a couple when he was doing his job, but he didn't last time. If only he had. Uh, so we get two standard restore health potions. Very good. All right, so doing okay here. We got 891 gold already. Very nice. Like I said, I don't really want to steal Fargoth's gold, and I don't need his ring. I just feel bad for the guy, you know? I suppose I could spare a moment or two. What are you, what are you saying? A little advice? You look like you could take care of yourself. Then why don't you go do something about those smugglers in Adamas... Saturus? These names are going to kill me. Adamasturus Cave. It's right over there near the Siltstrider port. Yet these guards, look at them, just strutting around. Someone must have paid them to ignore the smuggling going on in there. Yeah. 
Guys aren't doing much, are they? They couldn't even solve the murder, and the guy admitted to it, like, the second I mentioned it. So, what do you expect? I think it's just over here? I think. You know, if we're going out of town, we should probably make a save. Uh, Eve, French, Daxman. There we go, just in case we get killed by a mud crab or something on our way there. Like you. Come here now. Look at the jaws on it. It's like some sort of cave demon. Calm down, Snake. It's not a cave demon. It's a Kenyan mangrove crab. It'll tear me to shreds. Oh, Jesus. Gonna be a tough one. I got no fatigue. I'm getting destroyed. Ooh. That was close. We're gonna make it. I feel like it's not too far down this way. Maybe I'm wrong, though. It's along the coastline. Over here, maybe? <laughs> Those classic view distances. Oh, you're not a rock, are you? Nice. Yeah, it's right here. Alright, so we're definitely going to rest before we go in. So it, there's ghosts in there, I believe, and I'm not going to be able to do any. Oh, oh, we're already in attack by the Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Usually these guys aren't too bad, but I, uh, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Ghost to me. Shield. Yeah, we're actually getting pretty damaged here. This is not good. I really don't want to have to use our healing potion already. On this guy. Come on. Come on. Okay. That was very close. We're going to take all that stuff because it does sell for quite a bit. Um, all right, let's try resting again. Oh, come on now. So, I'm going to go in here, and like I said, I can't hurt these guys, but I can use my ghost to maybe distract them. Uh, just loot this place a little bit. See what's going on. Anything good? No. Yep, there's a ghost. Small chest, nothing in it. Hopefully he just bites my ghost. Scroll, no time to check what it is. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Crap. I'm gonna waste my magicka. I'm being slowed. There's another ghost. Ooh, I think the ring's right here. I'm not being slowed, I'm crouching. Jesus. Oh, that's trapped. That's bad. Yeah, the mentor's ring. Okay, we're gonna take that. The chest. I'm gonna leave the ashes. Oh, what am I doing? I keep clicking the wrong button. That's alright. Heal up. We'll just run out of here. Farewell, ghosts. Sorry for disturbing your slumber. Okay. Totally fine. Bunch of misclicks, but we made it out. All right, 
Uh, so yeah, this mentor's ring. Fortify intelligence 10, fortify willpower 10, constant effect. That's huge. Put that on. Now we have 90 magicka instead of 75. That's great. Now give us a better chance to uh, cast our spells. Nice. Alright, let's head back to town. Keep killing these mud crabs. Maybe. 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 Come on. Oh, there we go. Whew. All right, yeah, we'll head back. We'll sell some of the stuff that we got. And uh, we will try to take out those... The smugglers. Oh, shit. Tario, I didn't realize you were right here. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, uh, Christ. <sighs> I didn't realize I was right here. Oh, uh, sir. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. Hmm... I believe I may I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without the terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We will see who laughs after I leap from the top of their towers and scream out my success. Well, I mean, it kind of worked. Oh, nice. Didn't, uh, I thought you had a short blade or something. You know what, we'll, we'll leave you in your, your stuff there, buddy. In case we ever want to come back and visit you. Great, iron spark sword. Sweet. So, 4 to 16, 4 to 5 to 18. It does a little less damage, but it does have that magicka effect. Or the uh, the shock effect there. We'll take it. This is why we need to level up that speed. Because there is a lot of walking in Morrowind. No horses, limited fast travel. Alright, here we go. Barter. So I know I could sell this stuff to Creeper and get uh, full value for it, I believe. But uh, let's just see how much we can get from a real here. Okay, not, not enough there. For dagger. Anything else we want to buy here? Cross damage, fortified personality. Uh... You know, we're going to take these couple unhinging scrolls till I get a spell anyway. And take some repair hammers. Now these are expensive, but we're going to we're going to load up. Let's take these scrolls too. So we're just going to sell everything off and buy back, uh, or, or barter for some stuff. Make up the difference. I'm gonna keep the scrolls of a carrion flight, of course. Hellfire. It's pretty good. We'll keep it for an emergency. Uh, do you have any curing potions? By luck, Sujama, no. I mean, we could buy the bow, but I feel like we'll find a better one. Oh, I should have got my fatigue up before I bartered, too. But you know what? There's not really... I think there's much else I want to buy here. Hmm. All right. You know, we'll take back... Uh... Oh, 
Oh, you only... Oh, I was looking at my gold. Jesus. Stupid. Alright, that's fine. We'll sell the rest off later. skill here. Nice. Alright, well, um, I think that's good for now. It's a good place to stop. I think next time we will take on the smugglers uh, in the cave there and see if we get Delta Grizzly Death or not. It's sort of a... Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think my build is trash or if you have any suggestions or she's gone too far. I'll see her disgraced before the council. What are yes. you talking about? You are interrupting my outro. Anyway, like I said, if you like this content, the sun and moon Oh my god, a real tonight. You are are just why is everyone talking so much? Okay. Thank you for your eyes and ears. If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of this. If there's any games you want to play. If you have suggestions, feedback, whatever. Let me know. I'll be here. Uh, until next time.